Hey guys, I'm back again. So, uh, just want to do a quick little video here looking at the software experience on the Galaxy S6 Edge, uh, which uh, I've already done a video about the uh, S6 TouchWiz, so I'm not going to uh, rattle on about uh, the existing features that you're already aware of. But uh, I have been trying out the new kind of Edge features of the S6 Edge, uh, seeing if they are more than just like. Uh, a gimmick or if they actually have some functional value uh, and uh, we can just have a look here in the settings uh, we can see we have a dedicated panel here which uh, allows you to put on uh, like a different settings so uh, we can turn the actual edge lighting on or off so if you don't want to be disturbed at night for example uh, that could be quite useful because it can obviously flash up and illuminate the place. Uh, we can also uh, turn off uh, the uh, people edge functionality which basically allows you to, if we go to the home screen here, uh, add uh, like your favourite contacts here. So you can see I've already set one up as uh, S which is actually Samsung support and when you do go into that and then click for example the dialer that will start to call them which is very nice and quick uh, and uh, if we go back again into the settings here uh, we can see uh, that uh, we have uh, the ability to change which uh, notification comes on which is nice so for example you can put on uh, like a missed call notification or messaging or even email so uh, we can just give it a quick try here and see uh, if it works as expected. So I'm going to uh, just quickly send it, uh, well, call it and then see uh, if it comes up. very nice uh, ringtone there as well so basically how you access it here you have to uh, in fact just a second let me get my cloth out as you can see there uh, it can definitely pick up a lot of fingerprints here on the darker color one but you can get the edge here to light up by scrolling down and up and then we can then see the uh, edge here as you can see so you get your clock there as well as the uh, battery information as well as the date and the weather which is quite nice uh, to uh, get more information we just scroll down here and uh, you can see the uh, missed call there so that can be quite useful uh, we also have a news feed here which is pretty cool because it refreshes automatically and if there's like breaking news it will come up there and it kind of scrolls across which is pretty cool uh, and obviously clicking on it will open up the device and go into it so uh, there's also obviously uh, the ability to access your like messages as well so you can just do a quick little message here so we can then go back here and then scroll down and up and we can see the uh, message here there we go hi so very original there uh, and uh, for those of you who are like left handed or something you can actually switch the edge over to this side which is pretty cool so you can see I've got it on the right side here so we can switch that over to the left and then just uh, activate it again and there it is and you can see as well that it does like uh, reorientate itself based upon whichever direction that you're using it so it's pretty nice that they thought about that and uh, you also get your night clock as well which you can put on uh, similar to like uh, you know your clocks you can get on Lumia's for example with glance on it so if we just uh, 
turn the device off now you can see it should come up with the clock here so it's very dim though so it's not to wake you up uh, but you can see it just about there I think uh, coming up with the time there and uh, you can still access things by doing that so it's pretty cool uh, in terms of the uh, other software uh, it's pretty much the same really as you could see that I went into the camera very quickly using the double tap we also have the Moto X kind of uh, functionality here uh, where you can say hide Dex's laboratory how are you today so far so, so far, good so good so you can see there I've got the S6 not too far away and it did pick that up it's a really awesome awesome feature which I do enjoy uh, we also have the excellent uh, fingerprint scanner here whoa let's go back there we go you can see that's a very reliable way of getting into the device and uh, also we have the uh, multitasking that you will find on the S6 which is nice so you can have uh, quite a few of these small apps on the screen uh, I do uh, really like uh, the kind of uh, look of the device here with the some of the apps like on the edge kind of like uh, go down the hill here and when you are typing uh, you can see the uh, keyboard as well such as the letters on the edge here uh, you'll be typing actually on the edge and it feels really interesting because I've not done that before uh, but uh, other than that uh, pretty much everything is the same as the S6 so I just wanted to do this quick little video here looking at uh, the software uh, uh, features of this device as well as the edge features uh, and I'll definitely do some other videos comparing it against some other devices so look out for that I uh, hope you found this video informative and if you did please like it and I will see you very shortly cheers